Hello, everybody. We are here today to share with you the Spring 2024 collection, much anticipated. Much anticipated. And big. You guys have been so patient. What we have is three transfers, four stamps, five molds, and three inlays. inlays. We don't have time to sit Ooh, here and chat. Plus a couple little treatsy sneaksies of some new innovations. Oh, yeah. Stay tuned, guys. Let's get to it. First off, we are going to be talking about our transfers. And the first of our transfers, we would like to introduce to you collage de fleurs. <laughs> this is all about collage. The word actually originates from the French word colère, which means literally to cut apart, piece together, glue together. Mm -hmm. And that's what inspired this. And because of that, we went light on the stems and heavy on the bloom. So mm -hmm. you've got big, beautiful, rich Renaissance Dutch floral mm -hmm. colored blooms in here that you can arrange in yeah. just the sky's the limit. Exactly. And I love this, the type of blooms they are. Personally, I love growing roses in my garden and there's something different about garden blooms than yes. the ones you get at a florist or a grocery store they're just more uh scrumply, sumptuous and scrumply and roughly cupped, especially the heirloom yes the heirloom roses. roses so that is what we filled this with you guys and there is so many they are ample imagine the projects. We've been talking about the projects that we want to make with these. What about like a grass green distressed dresser oh, to bring yeah. it down like to a, a more sideboard. garden shabby feel mm -hmm. that you could just yeah, really like a create a casual view. piece? That would be beautiful. Josie's been talking about wanting to do a lamp. I've yeah. had my eyeballs out every time I go thrifting for a base for her because she wants to yeah. cover a base with this. Tell yes. me about what you would do. I want to do either a traditional ginger jar lamp, which yeah. you can usually find at a thrift shop, mm -hmm. or a wooden tall but very stout base lamp. I want to get it really a nice painted black finish yeah. and then collage around the base, possibly all over. I'm not sure on the mm -hmm. composition yet to get that really impactful kind of bougie, kind yes. of maximalist oh look in a lamp and finish it in gloss. There are so Glassy many different projects gloss. you guys could do with this. Make sure you get with your stockist for this one. It is, it is going to be popular. Next up, we've got Lover of Flowers. This one has all of the beautiful vintage floral vibes. It is actually a book that's called Lover of Flowers. So that's how it got its name. But when we saw these florals, they they're just have this kind of a retro, beautiful vibe, and it's gonna be perfect for those small decor projects. You could frame these. We actually did a project where we just put it on a piece of wall art and it took five minutes. So this is one that you can be as quick as you want or you could piece it out and so use it beautiful. for a tray, a lamp, a vase, so many different Gorgeous. things. Oh, I can't wait to use it to upcycle old books. Ooh, yes. It's gonna be perfect for that. Or like junk journals. Oh, there's so much in here. You guys I are really gonna love this one. I love the script of the original poetry is, in, is in with this. Yes. You know, you can't help but think I, you wanna honor the people and the artists who mm. made these designs so long ago. They hand drew them, they put so much of themselves into them. It just always makes us so happy to be right. able to celebrate that again. Mm -hmm. so. And I love the type, the typography in here is so beautiful. And the poems, I've actually read the poems. Just take some time just to flip through and read the poems. They're so beautifully written. Oh. So you guys, make sure you get with your stockist and get a hold of this one. It's really going oh, to be Oh, and this one is eight by 12 size. Oh yes, Perfect that's for important. all your small decor. Yes. And to wrap up our transfers, our third transfer is Joy de Roses. Mm. And it is just got a sumptuous, when you look at the painted imagery like on these. Feel. Very Renaissance feel. Very Renaissance, very fresco. It's got a really yes. organic earthiness mm -hmm. to the texture mm -hmm. in it. And we love, love, love it. I personally, my favorite part of these is the mandarins because I feel like it keeps it fresh, keeps it from being too staunchy or, or stuffy. It just gives it kind of a more cottage feel, almost like an English cottage. Mm -hmm. And there's citrus it. blossoms in it. The mix of just 
a I little bit, that. a couple of birds, some mandarins, some butterflies mm -hmm. in these slightly muted colors, but very yeah. this blush pink and lots of warmth. It looks amazing against yeah. yellow. Who would have oh, thought? Right, it's right. It's amazing yes. on it. It's beautiful. So we made this beautiful tray, and there is a tutorial for it, you guys, and it looks gorgeous on a nice deep yellow. It does, and even though it's a tray, I mm -hmm. when I saw it, I thought I would put that in my gallery oh, wall yes. as a piece of artwork. It's so beautiful. Absolutely, and you can use this, like Josie was just mentioning off camera, how beautiful would it be on the back of, like the back of a hutch? Oh yeah, the inside The inside of a hutch. back of a hutch. I'm it a would fan be of that. Gorgeous. I love using, that. Using the, the imagery on the inside in unexpected ways. Exactly. A... Um, and make sure that you guys do get this one, get a hold of your stockist, make sure that they order it for you because it is going to be a favorite. Many of you know that we are known for the most distinctive designs in the industry. But you know what? We also strive to have the highest qualities. We're always innovating, and some of the things that you'll notice are different about ours are our patented grid lines on our transfers, which make it way easier to cut a nice straight line when you need to, mm -hmm. as well as having the smallest halos in the industry. For those of you who aren't familiar with halos, you might hear it said now and then in mm -hmm. the communities. It's just the little clear margin around the transfer designs that you want to minimize. Evil. <laughs> necessary <laughs> evil. Yes. So we have the smallest of those. So we really dove deep mm -hmm. to make sure and get those and as small measure. as possible. So this we is did a measure. Fact. We use calipers. <laughs> we get scientific about it. We do. <laughs> So those are the things, some of the things that set our transfers apart and the ways we try to serve you with being the highest, always striving for mm -hmm. that quality factor in addition to the aesthetics. We have a little surprise for you. The first of our stamp category is a Big surprise wrapped in a little tiny package. The IOD mini stamps, the first of which is apothecary labels. It is full of little alpha mm -hmm. and coordinating little label Gorgeous frames. Vintage Beautiful. labels with little florals and little frames. Oh, and little so many flourishes. things it has you're gonna do with these. Oh, all the project yeah. ideas. But first we should mention, as many of you probably know, because you've probably stamped and used the smaller crafting stamps, an alphabet can be a pain to keep together. Mm -hmm. And that's why we created this one on four individual sheets. And each of those individual sheets inside it's of this nice box envelope. has its own envelope. To keep so them that all beautifully organized. All. I'm all about craft storage and organization being beautiful. Yes. And we thought of that when we were packaging this. It but is also ready to go. How easy is it to lose your little stamps? Oh, right. And not be able to find them because That's you true. can't see them. And that is why Another we surprise. tinted these to make them easier for you to find when one gets misplaced. <laughs> exactly. And we know this happens because we have big alphas and it even happens with big alphas. I know, I know, it's true. You guys have probably been in the same position where you see one three months later, there it is, yes. there's the P. <laughs> and it was the letter you needed. So exactly. this is going to be very helpful in that regard for keeping them right. nice and tidily stored. But all the projects yes. you're gonna do, you know what? I'm telling you, all my guard this spring, mm. all of my pots, planted oh, pots yes. with little labels. Little herb pots. Herb pots. What about spices? Oh, little yes. spice spices, jars. jars. Oh, oh my goodness. all the smalls. Yes. I cannot wait. Not to mention journaling. Your junk right. journals, your uh, recipe journals. I'm gonna use them for signage too, because yes. there are so many times when you have a subline or connector text mm -hmm. that I was like, oh, I wish we yeah. had a smaller alpha. And I know you guys have been asking We've for been it too. We've been getting the request yes. and we listen. So make sure you guys get a hold of this one. I know I keep saying it, but it's true. You have excited. to have it. Big things in little packages. <laughs> The next one in our lineup for the stamp category is Mercantile. This one is farmhouse delicious. It has got all of the different designs. When we were creating this, we thought, how can we 
make a stamp that has all of the different elements of almost any farm advertising signage mm -hmm. that you could think of yes. and we included it in this set so you can mix and match and combine to create all of that beautiful signage the farmhouse but it's mm. not just for signage you can use this for oh, yeah. decor pieces pillows um trays it's going to be perfect you could do furniture with this it would be beautiful oh, on furniture yeah. i could picture it on a door with this beautiful laurel leaf and the oh, rooster yeah. on maybe the door of a buffet. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness. And the grain stripe on it. We oh, really yeah. paid we attention. Back the grain stripe. Put some texture weave into it mm -hmm. for a nice, just really organic stripe that you can easily do end to end for as long as you want for a table runner or what have you. Right. Oh yeah. These are so, I mean, these are going to pair awesome too with all of the alphabet stamps right. that you guys have already collected. We actually, the inspiration as we were designing is we looked mm -hmm. at all of the different signage yes. or um, advertising labels on vintage grain sacks. Yeah. And we included all of those different elements into this compilation. Oh yeah. So, so for all of you who've already been collecting I stamps yeah. and you have the alphabets oh. this set is going to bring you even more value and more versatility to your alphabet stamps oh absolutely so you want to get this one for yeah. sure do not miss out on this speaking of masks many of you have already gotten familiar with the masks that come with our stamps mm -hmm. and how they can level up your stamping experience oh, and they're really, really they're a, a need, I think, for your repertoire. And th then you don't have to cut them out yourself. They right. allow you to layer in a way that's cleaner and clearer without muddying up the stamp before it. However, they can be a pain. They, they can, can get lost. They can. They can be hard to see. So mm -hmm. I may have had a meltdown when I was <laughs> when I was stamping my bathroom wall and lost so many of the masks on the floor. It's true. It's a thing. So we went ahead and Voila. innovated again and they are now <laughs> printed Yay. so it's easy to identify which mask piece you need for whichever stamp you need to match it to mm -hmm. it's easier to prevent yourself from losing them yes so you really i mean you're gonna love these yeah. we're so excited about them give them the tip on how to store them oh yes when you take these out of your stamp packaging you're going to Take them, lay them face down, and you'll be able to see which way is face down now. The up um, is kind of matte finish. Yeah, the back side it has a sort of a matte finish, a little frosted, and it's not as glossy as the front. You're gonna lay this, and you're going to take a repositional aerosol adhesive spray, like pixie, is it pixie dust? I like pixie mist. Pisty, pixie, I think it's called pixie mist. <laughs> pixie mist. And you're going to give this an even light dusting of that. You're going to let it dry. And then you are going to take one of the sheets that is on the back of your stamps, which doesn't cling to it after you use them, mm -hmm. so that you can use this instead for your mask storage. And you are going to carefully position it over the backside of your mask sheet and adhere it to it. And now you're going to have this nicely mounted mask set that doesn't get lost. And the other bonus, and it's actually significant, is that when you use your mask, because the backside now has that mist of repositional adhesive, mm -hmm. they're not gonna slide around on your project. Right. So no matter how slick it is. We are so. so excited about this innovation. We know you guys will be too. You know, when we are in design mode and we're bringing together the products we want for each category for our community, we're always pouring over the, our favorite design and decor magazines. Mm -hmm. Well, during this season for this collection, I was seeing, and Sal confirmed it, all this beautiful lattice. Yes. It was bamboo lattice mm -hmm. and the faux bois lattice and just gorgeous uses of this large scale on wallpapers mm -hmm. with the chinois. It was just beautiful. It and was. so it inspired this set. And we introduced you veranda, mm -hmm. reminiscent of porticos and patios and this, climbing plants. Yes, and this set is actually incredibly 
versatile. Um, maybe one of our most versatile stamps to date because we included two different sizes of the lattice itself, as well as the ovals and the um, rose clusters. And we actually have been playing with them and it's amazing how many different compilations we've been able to come up with. Mm -hmm. And with the masks, you can create the lattice behind the ovals and you guys will recognize as soon as you see all of these beautiful embellishments on furniture oh, yes. that it is a vintage, traditional, timeless look that you can create with this collection. Yes, we are so excited. I can't wait to use this on the, I have a hutch that I store all the china in mm -hmm. and I'm redoing it. And I am going to use the lattice on the door panels with a cameo of mm -hmm. the oval and the roses in the middle and go back in with some hand yeah. tinting with some paint colors in it and wear yes. it back. I mean, you guys can imagine. I'll just start thinking of all the projects you can do with this. As always though, we have all the small decor projects in mind as well. And we have yeah. smaller versions so that you can create beautiful wall Oh, yes. art or trays and also with these roses, we created a little pot, an herb pot that we absolutely adore. And we paired oh, it, yeah. we paired it with apothecary. The, oh, alpha, the tiny alpha, so and it beautiful. was so darling. Look at this smaller scale lattice would be perfect mm -hmm. paired with as a background with labeling on it oh, or yes. for layering on your uh, wall art mm -hmm. or small project. Ooh, a junk journal, an upcycled book, Cards. so many things, yes. So, yeah, it's a sophisticated motif, but it totally works for There's your There's so much we could say about it, I but know. we're being cued behind the cameras. We're We've gotta move time. on. <laughs> okay. okay, you guys, love this one, get it. <laughs> Next, we have pastiche. The inspiration for pastiche was the academia, light academia, mm. dark academia. The displays. That look is so popular and we fell in love with it. As we were visioning for this release, we kind of went deep into the academia we did. world. And part of that is because of the fact that before it was a trend and before it was academia, mm -hmm. we grew up with that. Our grandparents. Oh yeah. Constantly displaying yeah. all the little things, the mm -hmm. insects and all of the... Their decor was filled with stacks of dusty books. I Their mean, it was, was the original, authentic academia. academia. <laughs> so that really, obviously, mm -hmm. we love these elements. Right, right. So. so the birdhouses, we included several of the birdhouses. And as we were, Josie mentioned earlier that we pour over the, the magazines, or we have some favorites. Um, and we were noticing, I, I just saw so many beautiful floral fabrics that had birdhouses yes. in them and in the backgrounds as like a watermark with like a heavy floral over mm. it. And so that is going to be lovely for you traditionalists who love just a vintage timeless look. Mm -hmm. The academia thing aside. Absolutely. And you know what else I love about this is the layerability that you can achieve for your mm. wall art. Oh, you yeah. know, you've got, I mean, you have the beetle right here that you could place inside of a cloche. You yes. could do them um, just kind of layered up as a background for putting a dimensional piece in the middle too. Oh yeah. How beautiful would that be? Mm -hmm. There's so many different projects. This is gonna be good for small decor, but you could also, Josie was mentioning again, off camera as we're chatting, how Darling, would it be to use the birdhouses across mm -hmm. the bottom of a piece with their different up. heights yes. and then use like kind of regards or some kind of a texture behind, behind them so with the mask. mask them and then you stamp the courier and yes. the kind of regards. If you have those two stamps, you're going to be able to get a lot I of usage with these. I cannot wait to see what you guys do with this yes. set. All right, you guys, I am so excited to introduce the next category. You know how we love our paint inlays. And this collection is Lattice Rose. It's eight sheets and it is just such a gorgeous mix of patterns. The inspiration was vintage wallpaper and Josie and I really mm -hmm. just the pattern obsessed mixing. over yes. mixing the patterns. We would set it out, look at everything together. No, this isn't quite right. Mm -hmm. And it is really an art more than a science because yeah. 
you, you've got to just right. test different things. It's like yeah. when you're putting pillows out on your couch. I don't know about you guys. I love pillows on my couch. So I'm constantly taking one out, putting one in, taking one out, and then it's just right. And yeah. this collection is just right. Yes, exactly. There's the variables of your color palette on each of the different patterns. And very crucial is the scale. And these, yes. all four patterns are scaled very specifically with enough contrast between them to really mix mm. well and successfully. Can we talk about the colors? Oh. I love the colors. It's got a beautiful persimmon and this chartreuse. Mm -hmm. I love the damask and these just kind of unexpected colors together, yeah. but they the sage pop. Green, the sweet, sweet, the yeah. truce green. Exactly. Definitely. So you guys, you have to get this collection. You're going to love it. It looks even more beautiful when you're using it. Our second inlay, which we are so excited about, is actually one design in two different colorways. Mm -hmm. This is a four sheet design that was specifically created for beautiful accents on furniture mm -hmm. in a very, very classic way, but is also perfectly suited to your decor. Small smalls. decor. We introduced petite fleur in pink and in red. They're each four sheets and you really do need both because they're completely different in use. We've tested them on different pieces and the petite pink is just kind of just girly and unapologetically feminine as very we like soft, to say. Very feminine. Mm -hmm. And what's cool about it though is you're going to get a completely different look even with oh, just yeah. the pink. If Depending you put it on a soft feminine versus yep. a black, which is what pops, and that's kind of my favorite. When yeah. you put this on black, I'm like, ooh, I'm not so much of a pink girl, but when I put this pink on black, it definitely it hits just that nail on looks the head. Classic. It's classic, it's beautiful. And then of course in the red, we have these warm, mm. deep reds creating this is my the blooms. Favorite. And what's cool too about these is that we have a touch of trompe l'oeil elements mixed in with oh, the yeah. florals. And you're going to love it. When mm -hmm. you look at all the different shapes that are included on each of these four sheets, oh. there is so much. I'm not, I mean, I don't want to discourage you from buying more, but you're getting a ton <laughs> of use from these inlays. It is so true. It's so many different projects as well as with the furniture, mm -hmm. you can do doors, drawers behind totally. your hardware. Yes. Uh, yeah. There are strips of trim in here in both mm. the trompe l'oeil as well Ooh, as a little for down line. The sides. Imagine in, I saw the most, the coolest uh, kind of expression in artwork in gallery walls where people are decorating their matting oh, on their yes. artwork. And we have little corners here of the rosette and the little leaves that mm. you could use on your mats or even some of the little uh, trompe l'oeil trims would be fabulous on your artwork mats. There's just Recently, so many Recently, I've really been enjoying upcycling old books and these oh, yeah. would be gorgeous even on some mixed media projects. Absolutely, you guys got to try the Petite Fleur in red and or pink, you're gonna love it. And now for our final category, our molds. When you use IOD molds, you're going to immediately notice a couple of things that make them different mm -hmm. from other molds in the marketplace. The first is our micro rim. And that's just a tiny little rim around each cavity that gives you a cleaner cast yeah. and a cleaner release. Mm -hmm. The other is our measure marks. And those are particularly handy when you're using resin, but they're also handy for clay because there's two. There's, there's mm -hmm. grams, and there's milliliters, milliliters mm -hmm. so that it works for both. And that helps you know how much you're going to need. People love this. Mm -hmm. And now we have something new to introduce to you. The stack and sort edge labeling. I am personally so excited about this because I like to keep my craft room tidy. Yes. And I love I organization. And the other day I was stacking my molds and having to find one and it wasn't easy. And I said, mm -hmm. I can't wait until we have the edge labeling. Right. So now you can stack them all up, you know, 10 mm -hmm. feet high, however many molds you have. <laughs> and you'll be able to find exactly what you need and just... Right 
pluck it out. Exactly. Like you don't have to flip through like book pages to find it. Yeah, you just、right. simply see it right there. Yes.、So、we are so excited about that.、Mm -hmm. And it encourages you to get more and more molds. True. Because When they're easy to you store. You can't have too many. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's start showing them the designs. Yes. This is one of my favorites, and it is conservatory labels. These are fabulous because, for one thing, they're made specifically for and the depth and the designs for creating little labeling plaques that look vintage. And、mm -hmm. the amount of detail in these is amazing. Amazing. We just used them, and as we were just demolding them. There were oohs and ahs filling the room. You are gonna love these.、Uh, so beautiful, and they're so 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 versatile. Yes. Sally mentioned the the what do you call it? The journaling book.、Um, oh, the, the upcycling the, the old upcycling books. Upcycling the old books、yeah. and turning them into、mm -hmm. journals. Junk journals. Junk journals. Yes. Mixed media. And these are actually a little thinner by intention and by design、mm -hmm. than a labeling one that we did years ago. Right. That we found was for some things a little too thick. Yeah. So, like I, I remember I, I put one on a mason jar and it just felt a little bit thick. A、and、little so bit thick. So when we、thick. were redesigning,、um, we were talking about let's have it、let's、be、sure. as a label. And、mm -hmm. the use of a label, you want it to be mesh with whatever you're putting it on、exactly. the object that you're putting it on. I plan on using these on artwork, like、mm -hmm. little, especially the things that are like little specimen displays、mm -hmm. and and things like that, because they just will add that. A little、oh, yeah. beautiful extra special touch. But what is really cool about these two that you guys, for all of you who are excited about the apothecary label stamp set, our first mini stamp set,、mm -hmm. the little the size of the stamps for that alphabet are going to go fabulously with these. Not and that was by some, intention. Yeah, exactly. We、so、actually designed these to go with that. So that it's going there. They fit beautifully. Totally. The other cool thing, especially this one, I feel like would make an awesome backplate behind a small knob on Ooh, your furniture. Ooh, a good idea. I、uh, love that、it. idea. So、oh, yes. there's just so much. We can't wait to see what you guys do with these. And next we have faux bois. That actually means false wood, and this set. Just has the most beautiful woody textures. We've got bamboo, two different sizes,、mm -hmm. and we have what do you call this? I'm gonna say it. It's a wood texture, a like wood, a branch.、Texture. Like it's a branch. Thank you. I call a it a twig. Bit, yes, but it's not. It's a branch, and it's beautiful. Very texture rich. It's got this beautiful organic texture. But what I love about this mold is that it's got cross and corners, so you can literally make. Any compilation of design with these, and I personally love like a traditional bamboo trimming on different things, chairs, furniture,、mm -hmm. frames, and this allows me to add that if it's not already there. I just、it's、really、so、am obsessing over this mold. Bamboo is an easy, quick way to add a touch of sophistication. It's true to your yes, pieces. Yes, it's very sophisticated. Or I'm loving it for. For framing,、mm -hmm. oh my gosh, for creating a frame on our wood blanks, right, and then gold.、Mm -hmm. Yes, we, I mean, yeah, gold we did a project with it in gold, and it did not disappoint. It's absolutely gorgeous. You, you guys, guys need to get your hands、this. on this one. Okay, I gotta say, this one <laughs> is so fun, and I feel like. There is no need to take everything so seriously,、no. even in your decor,、It's、and、true. that's the inspiration. Just weaving a little bit of fun and quirk, and quirk into your decor. Yeah, that is what is behind invitation only. This is so fun. We have <laughs> a cat, a stag, a wolf, and a dog, with a neoclassical stand、mm -hmm. on each one, and they're wearing tuxedos. And you guys. Uh, the cat actually gets a little offended if you call him cat because mm -mm. he is known as Sir Percy from the, the Cat's, Cat's Walls. <laughs> We had fun with that, and we want to see what you guys name the other ones. I、yeah. am looking forward to.、Mm -hmm. I want to do some wall art with these, and put. I 
I've seen gold or brass. Um, oh yeah. Dimensional artwork with animals. Sometimes they'll have a spectacle or something it like looks, that. It looks really surprisingly sophisticated in like an academia setting. Mm -hmm. And it's with your books. got some quirks. So it keeps things just kind of fun. Just adding that little bit of right. fun woven in. Unexpected. It's unexpected. Yeah. I bet for those of you who create pieces and mix them in mm -hmm. with your bookshelf, your library, oh, yeah. when you have guests over and they finally find it, you're <laughs> gonna get some chuckles and some smiles. That's They're true. Love it, so. Don't miss out on this one, you guys. Next we have Viridis. And this is such a classic timeless design. We, I love olive leaves and acanthus and laurel. laurel leaves. And this kind of emulates all of that. When we were designing this, we really did a lot of research and looking um, and really obsessing over traditional timeless layouts and compositions mm -hmm. of leaf moldings. And so that's, this is what, came from that. And it, you'll notice that it actually um, has a symmetry, but not exact, exact symmetry. And what mm -hmm. that does is when you're looking at the design, there's just enough interest that it doesn't become repetitive. Right. You can get a symmetrical composition, yeah. but it's not exactly the same. They're mm -hmm. very just slightly so that it, yeah. you keep that visual interest. And you'll find historically that symmetrical compositions more times than not are, are a not different. a mirror image. That's They're right. just a little different. So. And of course, this has all the scrumptious detail that you can expect from IOD with the turning Wavy, of the leaves and the furly. waving and the curling. Oh, yes. We just Scrumpy. love that. And so this one is definitely one you're going to want to have in your repertoire because it is so classic. You will use it again and again. It's going to mix with like most all of our other molds. If you've oh, yeah. got like other molds that are about the historic and mm -hmm. the beautiful compositions, you're going to want to mix this in with it. Mar Mer uh, mercantile the stamp from this release would oh, yes. work so beautifully with oh, this mold. Yes. Mm -hmm. The rooster, yes. the cow. So you guys definitely get a hold of this one. Okay, guys. Our final mold is so fun. It is called IOD Specimens, and it is all about all the beetles. So I know it's like definitely quirk, but you probably remember us mentioning before, we mm -hmm. grew up, our grandparents in Nevada were total academia yeah. before it was Bef cool. Before it was and cool. So we were constantly <laughs> exposed to stacks of dusty books and books specimens. And, and yeah, lots of specimens, the mm -hmm. collecting of the, whether it's botany or mm -hmm. whether it's insects, we were constantly exposed to that. And so as this has kind of enjoying a renaissance, mm -hmm. it totally tugs it's on like our- It's like comforting familiarity. It is comfort and familiar. And I will tell you, we've already started doing projects with these and we're, the projects that we're doing here- Amazing. In the, that Olivia's doing, oh, we're kind yes. of fighting over them. My I, daughter, Olivia, you guys will see it on camera, but she painted some of these castings and you cannot tell the difference so between she, a real, real beetle. Exactly. She put them <laughs> in one of our shadow boxes. It's trimmed with bamboo mm -hmm. and gold. And then there's some of our transfer, the fronds transfer. Well, they're probably going to see it coming across the oh, screen yes, right yes, now. Yes. Well, so you don't have to describe okay, it in okay, okay. that much detail. It's, I'm excited about it. You guys are going to love this. The level of texture mm -hmm. and detail in these and the sheer variety. Exactly. There's so many different yes. kinds. So what's awesome or is you can do a little display. Specimens. Like I'm picturing a little mini gallery um, and mm -hmm. doing one of the smaller frames with one of the larger beetles and yeah. then one of the larger frames with a series of the three little beetles mm -hmm. and things like that. Yeah. You guys are going to love this. And again, we can't wait to see all of the amazing academia type projects floating through our community. Okay, everybody, that wraps up our spring collection. And we are so excited mm -hmm. about all of these designs, but we are even more excited about what you guys are going to do with yes. them. Absolutely. So make sure you subscribe and follow our YouTube channel. We have been working busily behind the scenes on some amazing tutorials with these products. So again, follow, subscribe, so you're notified when those tutorials are live. Okay, you guys.